Good afternoon, everyone. And as always, very welcome here on the Wild Earth Drive, and as always, live as well. So looking forward to another afternoon of unpredictable and unexpected surprises and hopefully some beautiful wildlife. Um, on camera today is Rob. My name is Peter, and we've got Haley back in the Life Control Center, and we'll have the whole afternoon out here at Juma. Just a couple of things to bring up before we start the drive. The one is just a question that came through um, earlier today from Peter Postma. He's um, sending us his email from France. And he's just saying that he finds it much easier to join us on the morning drives as, as opposed to the afternoon drives and just sort of why that could be. Um, very honestly, I don't join the drives that often from, from your side, wherever in the world you might be. But the basics for it would be that the morning drives just aren't as busy, not as many people trying to get onto it because uh, the people that are in similar time zones to us, Europe, um, England and so on, they um, don't always get up at 5.30. A lot of people going to work and so on in the afternoons it's just an easier time. Sorry about that. The other game drives are all leaving from the lodges. Um, the other one is also that a lot of our American audience, uh, North American audience, in other words Canada and, um, and the United States of America, are joining us more often in the afternoons, our time, because it's morning for them. So for those of you that are struggling to get on the afternoon, maybe try the mornings. 5.30 Central African time we go out, and it's a little bit easier to join us on the live part. Um, then a the second thing, Graham Wellington who's the sort of the father of Wild Earth called earlier today, just an interesting bit of news. A leopard that's been, uh, or used to be followed quite a lot by Kim Walliter, and in the southern areas of Saibu Sands towards Mala Mala, by the name of Chololo, passed away over the weekend, or end of last week, within the last week. And for those of you that have been joining uh, various activities in the bush alive over the last few years, you might, you might have been familiar with them. And just uh, a mention of it, it was a porcupine, and he was injured quite badly by it and sort of degressed and degressed and eventually actually the park service has tried to get involved they darted him and he and he went during the, the surgery apparently quite serious and it also brings up a question a couple of weeks ago just before leave there were some interesting questions regarding porcupines and leopard in the kalahari for instance as opposed to in the sabi sands and, and i mentioned that it's not all that often that leopard actually um, catch porcupines here it's not something you see very often a combination of many other prey species available and also not that many porcupines but it shows you that uh, those, those spines or the spikes can be quite dangerous. So um, maybe Graham agrees as well probably or mentioned that it's probably the mess, most known or best known individual leopard maybe in, in sort of human leopard history and uh, just thought to mention that. So Chololo has gone wherever leopards go after this place. As for this, so let's go look around and see what we can find. A leopard or a porcupine would be fantastic. stations uh, just leaving camp area any other stations working on Western Gowrie I'm probably one I don't have to know what I'm doing thanks Aubrey on just south you say I'm south away Another interesting change, just in terms of our general surroundings compared to this morning, when we mentioned, especially towards the end of drive, it's getting very, very hot, 
and with quite a bit of humidity and um, it's since become overcast in the last couple of hours from about three o'clock onwards more and more cloud cover has blown in and uh, also the breeze coming straight from Mozambique southeast so we might get some rain maybe not on the drive yet maybe early evening Sorry guys, just listening to the radio there, it's just all the game drives out this afternoon, 500 vehicles out from, from the Juma Lodges. So it's good to know who's going to check where so that we make sure you cover as much the ground as possible. And essentially it looks like most of the afternoon will be just us on Western Gauri. So the other guys are sort of moving through it. <coughs> so we've got a whole lot of little nooks and crannies to go look around for wildlife. get next to them. Some crested Franklins here. Yeah? A little bit tucked away in the grass there. You can have the greatest view of them. Sometimes they just relax as soon as you stop and they go about feeding and looking for food. Especially now in summertime, lots of food available to them. But we'll try and have another look at some other ones when you can actually see them. Thick bush there. 